Hi guys, I'm Jason James. Hello, and I'm Mark West. And I'm Matty I'm Matt. And these are our favourite NTFL memories. All right, well, um, I guess one of my favourite NTFL memories was um, uh, making my, boot, my debut at, uh, at 16 at Gardens Oval um, as a young kid, still at high school, uh, running out there and um, in front of all the Buffalo supporters. It was just an amazing, amazing day. So that'll, that'll be never something I'll never forget. And um, I guess the, the other big one was playing St Mary's in the, in the grand final that year as well. That's very serious. Yeah. <laughs> I think for, for myself, the most memorable moment was the adventure of getting to Darwin. We come up in the combi van, me and Jonesy. And um, I was probably meant to go with Buffaloes from the get-go. So he, sh he shot me over to Wanderers. And then I suppose that was a, a memorable moment because first year in the competition, we won the flag. Beat St Mary's in 92, 93. So, yeah, sort of landed on my feet. And I went to Buffalo as the following uh, next season. And I think we played in two or three losing grand finals. <laughs> so That's Wanderers it. was a good move for the start of my NTFL career. Uh, yeah, I've got a couple. I think on my debut, I, um, we, uh, I played at Gardens Oval. And um, this is back in 1989. And then I didn't realise who I was playing on. Anyway, after three whacks to the head, after the game, everyone told me, oh, that was Robbie Muir. So that was my was debut right? to the NTFL, Mad Dog Muir. Yeah. So that was a classic. And then, uh, and then probably one, uh, another one which was quite funny was when we, um, we, uh, we beat St Mary's three times during the year. And I think then in that last game, well, during the season, we, um, I think we won by 10 goals. And then there was a passage of play where I think I was in the ruck and it, it didn't bounce up straight and then Westy ended up tapping it and I was running down and I think I kicked it. I kicked a goal from about 80. <laughs> <laughs> I think 90. Yeah, it was at least 80. Yeah, yeah. They moved the 50 back then. But anyway, <laughs> but then, the, yeah, then the flip side of that is I think uh, Saints then came out and um, smacked us <laughs> in that preliminary and then smacked us again in the grand final so but that's all right. that's the way it went they were a great side we had, we, had a, we had a good side but they had a great side so yeah it was good days we all had fun we all got to play together so oh exactly we yeah. used to play at least 100 games together yeah that's right so no good old days they were i think we played an era where i don't know about today's game but you could sort of go hard on the on the field mm. crack each other and they'd be the first blokes ever been with you after the game and there was no sort of off-field issues it was always yeah. left on the footy field and there were some really good battles you know like, mm. and I remember Crummy Taylor from Districts he was, he was you know, a great player for Districts but he'd, he'd run a straight line and he'd just about you know punch on in, in, in some of these games but then after the game saw water under the bridge and life goes on. <laughs> well, I've, I've been a really good one. Um, us three, we, we stayed at James's house one night in Stuart Park and yeah. we, all, we all went out. I think we went, to, went back to Derby's in those days and um, yeah. we all crashed in, in Jonesy's room. That, you know, I think I was about 24 or 25 at the time and um, I've woken up the next day um, underneath the house, which I thought was Jonesy's, and um, I got woken up by an old lady and um, she asked me who I was and I'm like, well, um, I'm Matty O'Matt. And, I'm like, oh, who are you here with? And I'm like, where's Jason Jones? And they're like, oh, no, Jason Jones lives next door. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, OK. So they walked me out to the front gate and it was padlocked. So, you know, you know. With a six foot fence around it. So yeah, we're trying so to, we're still working, we were laughing trying. about the other, still working out how we got in there. So we, I must have been sleepwalking that night and woke up next door. So, a bit of a mystery still to this day. One particular Thursday night, we'd come home and we thought, we just got home, maybe we'd get a couple of hours sleep. And we were sort of camping in under the house and we were just ready to sort of maybe get an hour in and we heard the old man walking up like it's time to go to work so it was like off with the disco clothes on with the work clothes that's right and then uh, we'd played st mary's a big game coming up with st mary's that weekend and the and the news crew was coming around looking for for jonesy for a for a, a story you know <laughs> and anyway we'd gone to sleep was probably lucky to have half an hour shut eye and uh and we were laboring these days on these building sites and we were digging um, this trench or doing this trench work and we were that buggered like we just about slept in that trench. But anyway, we couldn't find James. They went looking for him, couldn't find him. And I said, oh, we looked all through this building. Anyway, they found him eventually. He was tucked around one veranda. Sleep like that. You know, <laughs> on, on, a, on a, not a tile floor, just a bit of slab of cement sleep. And he's, and he's come down to do the interview and he had the, the black shirt on like a bandana 
the glasses on you. Anyone thought he was from like a bikies gang, you know? And here he is, a star ruckman of the competition, you know, doing this interview. So that was one of the funny ones. Yeah, that was about, uh, I remember it well and still people remind me. That was good. Oh, it's just a nickel, nickels medal I missed out on. <laughs> oh, I got a couple here. <laughs> Can I buy those nickels medals, Jonesy? <laughs>